guys, welcome to Nevertheless Screen Printing Supplies. Today we're going to talk about flash dryers, and specifically we're going to talk about the difference between coil and infrared flash dryers. Now a coil flash dryer is powered exactly like your oven at home is. It's got a coil that goes along the bottom of the panel, which is used to heat up the ink and cure it. Now these are generally a lot cheaper, um, somewhere around like the 150 to 250 range but you're definitely getting what you pay for when you do a coil dryer. Um, they, sometimes you'll end up getting an uneven heating. Um, it'll burn the shirts a lot easier than using your infrared dryer. They're not as durable and they just don't last as long as an infrared spot dryer does. If you're looking to do a professional job and you want to be doing big jobs like 100 shirt runs for companies, this is not the spot dryer for you at all. These are okay for somebody in a DIY situation where they just want to make shirts for their personal use, but you're not going to be able to do a large quantity with this kind of dryer reliably. Now onto our infrared spot dryer over here. This whole square is going to be one big even heating area opposed to having just the line of heat where you're going to get more heat here and more heat here and more heat here and then nothing in the middle. It's not going to be an even cure. So when you have this big square, that's all even heat, you're getting a guaranteed efficient job done every time. Now these are also way more durable, you don't have to replace any coils, and they last way longer than your coil flash dryer is going to. Now these are going to cost a little bit more, but you're going to save money in the long run by having an efficient spot dryer, and you're not going to have to replace it in nearly the time that you would your its coil competitor over here. And most of the time the coil dryers are made out of country, they're just not as good of quality, whereas most of the infrared dryers, there's a few companies I can name off the top of my head that are all right here in America making very high quality flash dryers. So you gotta really think, where would you rather put the money? Our personal opinion, it is worth it just to go all out and get yourself an infrared flash dryer, especially if you're gonna be using it to cure your ink as opposed to using a conveyor dryer. Or do you wanna go with the 150 or $200 coil dryer that you'll probably have to replace pretty soon. So thanks for watching, hope you guys learned something, hope I was able to help you in your decision between getting an infrared and a coil flash dryer. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and keep on printing.